In today's video, I'm opening up two epic Yu-Gi-Oh collections. What's up guys, I'm back with another collection purchase. In this video, I actually have two separate collections. They were both a little bit small for one video, so I put them together and they made the perfect amount for a video. One of them was a sealed collection, the other was a singles collection, so we have both. But before we get into it, I have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this original LOB Flame Swordsman. We have a premature burial reprint and a monster reborn. I can't tell about this one. It might be some sort of middle print or something. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below what you think about this collection. Do you like the sealed better or the singles? Hey, do you like fun? Well, if I got good news for you, I'm streaming on Whatnot this Thursday, April 27th. And the last two have been an absolute blast. I've sold a lot of awesome stuff, given away over a thousand dollars in cards. So you might want to be there to win something cool. Whatnot is an app where you can both buy and sell cards on a live marketplace. During live streams, you can do live auctions, buy it now, and even giveaways. I've personally given out over $2,000 in giveaways in my last two streams. They also have a marketplace feature where you could post things for sale even when you're not live. If you want to find my profile, just go to my link down below and search Ruxin in the app and you'll be able to find me and bookmark my next stream. And when you click that link down below for the first time, you get $15 for free to spend on the app. You can spend that $15 on me or other streamers like Simply Unlucky and Team Samurai X1. Make sure to come see the stream on April 27th. It's going to be a lot of fun. And thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. So first, the guy with a single sent me a little message. Stat Manford. I figured I'd take this opportunity to say, I very much appreciate how positive your channel is, man. Been following for years. The mood is always great in your videos. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you for selling me the collection. Now let's check out what he sent us. So here we have our Sword Christie, a secret rare from uh, Stardust Overdrive. Very nice card. If this is first dead, it's like 750 bucks. Unlimited, I think is like around 130, something like that, which is pretty expensive. We have an OG Metal Raiders Gate Guardian. Very cool. Oh, it looks like this is a reverse Gate Guardian. That's very cool. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those. That's really nice. Reverse Secret Rare Gate Guardian. That's pretty awesome. Then we have a Black Cluster Soldier original print from Invasion of Chaos. Also very, very cool. An Ultimate Rare Stardust Dragons is also unlimited, but still. Ultimate Rare Stardust is one of the coolest looking cards out there. Leviar, the Sea Dragon. Always been a very expensive Ultimate Rare from Generation Force. We have a Monster Reborn, just like we gave away, except this one's from Dark Legends, which is pretty rare because Dark Legends is not a very big set that people really care about too much but it's also because it's so scarce mobius the frost monarch somehow i haven't seen a lot of these unlimited like unlimited soul of the duelist ultis you don't see them too often we've got a goyo guardian from dual terminal that's pretty awesome goyo we've got a dandelion from jump that's a promo the Prismatic Secret Rare Raigeki, same thing with the Nibiru, the promos from the 2019 10s. Speaking of that, we're getting promos in our 10s coming up this year, which is pretty awesome. We have another Chaos Emperor Dragon. Let's see, we're starting to get more of the... Okay, first dead Snatch Deal, that's nice, but some of the stuff at the beginning was pretty crazy. Shinado, first dead, I really love that. Do Whoa, Dark Palad, I didn't know that was in here. Very big. Zombie Master, not ulti, but still cool. A Allure of Darkness, that appears to be an Ultra. Hammer Shot ulti. Elemental Hero Dark Bride Boom. You guys know that one. The uh, Blackwing Breeze, the Zephyr. Glow Bulb, first ed Stardust, uh, Star Strike Blast, I should say. We pulled this in the every pack opening the second time. We have the Harpy's Feather Duster. Ooh, that's good. First edition. Got the Neo Galaxy S Photon. Could need this for my binder. I think I have it, but I could be wrong. Mech Phantom Beast Draco Sack. Leviathan Dragon, same thing. I could need that. Divine Dragon Knight Felgrant. Oh, that's a MP14, so I definitely don't need that. Cyber Valley, Card Trooper, Upstart. Good cards there. And then the last few of the singles, we have a Smashing Ground. That's a champion pack. Okay, wow. Debris Dragon, that's also from Turbo Pack. This is an expensive card. It got really good or really expensive when it was used in like meta decks. I think that's pretty wild. Secret Rare is probably pretty expensive. Cyber Dragon, Malicious, and a X Saber Arabellum. So, I mean, as you can see, it's not like a huge collection, but it's pretty nice stuff overall. Almost every card is like somewhat valuable. But that's why I put it with this other collection, which also has a note. Dear Ruxin, hello and thank you so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy these items. I've been a fan of yours for the past few years. It's been awesome to see your channel grow greatly. You surely do put out some awesome content in your product openings are insane i wish you well in your continued channel growth and future endeavors kind regards josh josh thank you so much let's see what he sent us so the first thing we have is a tactical evolution special edition this includes the labyrinth of nightmare pack these packs are the ones with the cards that are super slick and slimy very interesting that like this print specifically is a lot different kind of like our 25th anniversary is going to have like a lot different print which i think when you see this it's already come out and we've done openings so you guys know that but cool stuff there then we have the one the only elemental hero neos 10 so this was the highest rarity of neos until magnificent 
Magnificent Mavis in 2022, December, I believe, when that came out. So this was the highest rarity, but they now also have Secret Pharaoh's Rare, Ultra Pharaoh's Rare, and they're also making a, uh, what was the rarity I saw the other day? Oh yeah, 25th anniversary, I think. I don't know if that's confirmed, but I think it was on like the 10 picture or whatever, so it might actually be it. But this is not even close to the highest rarity anymore, but it's a very beautiful looking uh card either way so in the back it has two cybernetic revolution one elemental energy one shadow of infinity enemy of justice and a variant card which it's not a variant card because you can see it so i mean i guess there's other tens but still not a variant on this one okay then we have more we have raviel lord of phantasm so we're looking at these are both from 2006 i believe pretty old school tens five packs inside raviel of course one of the sacred beasts one of the coolest ones out there inside two cybernetic revolution packs same wave so these were all from wave one which you can see uh first launch so first launch there first launch so they're gonna have the same booster packs but 2006 also had a second launch which had the other sacred beasts in it they had different packs some similar but not completely the same then we have a light of destruction special edition these are pretty cool i got to open a few of these one time but never had been able to open a ton of them Karaz light monarch's actually an expensive promo if you can get that three light of destruction packs in here they're unlimited obviously but very, very cool stuff to see this. You don't really see Light of Destruction like at all, much less the special edition. So like, maybe not much less, probably more common than the regular first dead packs or whatever, but very cool to see. We opened this in the every special edition opening. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. That was a crazy video where we opened all the special editions and now they're, they're over. So we've opened them all. Then we have a Shadow of Infinity special edition. So it's interesting how they started wrapping them like individually with these and these were not. They just had the old school Eye of Anubis stick you know kind of looks like a starter deck it's got the flap there inside of this you get the shadow of infinity special edition the promos out of here i don't remember they're usually rewaves of former secret rares so that's probably what it is but three shadow of infinity unlimited packs very cool and there you can get ultimate rares which is pretty awesome then we have an elemental energy this one is i guess oh these both have one in four so there's four different ones in these, which is interesting. Same basically setup as the Shadow of Infinity one. It's got the flap, got the sticker. You know, we've got three elemental energy packs, which is also pretty rare. So pretty cool stuff. I'm still not 100% sure if these are retail packs in here, if they could be anything. Really not sure. I can't remember if we ever figured that out in the special edition opening or not. And that's not all of our special editions. We have a Force of the Breaker, which, you know, Volcanic Support is coming out. So this might actually be going up a little bit because you can pull some of that original stuff. I don't know if they're even going to use the originals or not, but they may. Let's see, one of two. So they didn't, they only had two at this point. It wasn't one of four. This was late GX. So maybe they actually changed it to two later on. It was four first. Uh, not great promos in here. This also has an IOC pack, which is pretty crazy. And then we have... A very big item, a sealed Phantom Darkness Unlimited booster box. So this is a pretty rare item, even not in first deck, because first deck is crazy. The Unlimited's still pretty expensive, still pretty rare. You can get Dark Arm Dragon, of course. This is something that we may or may not be doing some sort of like box break for the members of the channel, something like that. I'm thinking that that's probably what we'll do with this. Uh, it's a pretty crazy set. I mean, first ed is impossible to find, so unlimited even is very, very rare. So awesome pickup for this Phantom Darkness booster box. All right, so that is the last item, but now we're going to do a quick opening of the Force of the Breaker Special Edition. See, we've got IOC inside. We've got Volcanics that's just coming out soon, so this will be fun. So let's open this up, see what we can get inside. Okay, here we go. Force of the Breaker. What will we get? Invasion of Chaos, bless us with something epic. So first of all, we have the Phantom Beast Rock Lizard. Not the craziest promo of all time. Probably not that great at all, actually. But there's a near mint-ish card. We have two Force of the Breaker and then an IOC. These kind of feel like Euro packs based on, I mean, like the Crimson stuff. It seemed like they're Euro. Let's start it off with FOTB and see what we can pull. Can we get an ultimate rare out of this pack? There is potential for ultis out of this set. Are these upside down or are they all upside down? Interesting. They were just upside down in the pack to begin with. I'm going to do three just so we don't ruin it. We have a wild fire to start it off. The Last Resort, aka Papa Roach. What else will we get? We've had some good pulls out of the set. I've never pulled the Volcanic Doom Fire, Moist Critical's least favorite Yu Gi Oh card. Okay, Crystal Regeki, Secrets of the Gallant, Volcanic Blaster, Volcanic Shell. Okay, there's a rare here. I don't know if there's a foil after this or not. Okay, there wasn't this time, so we really don't know. Volcanic Shell, pretty cool card. 
Now what we're looking for, let's go to the Invasion of Chaos pack next. Okay, I think this might be an EN pack. Yeah, this says EN, but it's cut off. So this is an EN pack, which, as you guys know, the 25th anniversary is also EN. But these will look much, much different from those, so you'll be able to tell the difference. Invasion of Chaos, one, two, three. Let's just do that. Griffin's Feather Duster, IOC-EN. Inferno. DNA Transplant. Earth Chant. He's chanting about the Earth. The Thing in the Crater. I don't know what that thing is, but it's in a crater. Energy Drain. Chaos Sorcerer, IOC-EN. Dark Triceratops. And will we get a foil? No, it's a Crimson Ninja. I don't know if they had gotten to foil and rares at this point, but I feel like they had. Force of the Breaker, our final pack of this collection buying video. It's been some pretty cool stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you prefer the sealed or the singles. Maybe in general, you could let me know in the comments. Okay, one, two, three. So we know the rares here. If this is a foil, we'll do this. Okay. Gravity Crush Dragon. Wildfire. Last Resort Papa Roach. The Crystal Beast. Ruby Carbuncle. Will there be an ultimate rare at the end of this pack? Let's find out. Crystal Promise. It's promising that we will pull Crystal. I don't know. Is there anything good Crystal in here? I don't know. Volcanic Scattershot. Crystal Raigeki. Hey, it promised we pull Crystal, and we did. Anything else? Hard Selling Zombie. Now, where's that Hard Selling Goblin? Warrior of Atlantis. And finally, will it be an ultimate rare? No, it won't. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.